Hey guys, and thank you for watching this video joining with us here at, at Good Shepherd. As you can tell by the title, we're trying to get started a, a new youth group aimed at people between the ages of maybe 6th and ninth grade, somewhere around in there. We have an issue though, first of all, we don't have a name. And that's where you guys are going to come into play. If you would, there's going to be a link in the video description that you can go ahead, click on that, and you can then go and vote on what the name of this youth group is going to be. We, we thank you for doing that in advance. Speaking of identity, what our name is, who we are. Who are we? Because right now it probably feels like a little bit of you has been lost. You're, you're maybe not that athlete that you were even just six weeks ago because basketball or baseball or soccer isn't an option right now. You're maybe not that scholar that you were six weeks ago because, well, we're, we're not meeting together in, in school. Who are we? It feels like a, a big chunk of us has, has been lost. At least that's the way that it can seem sometimes. Well, who does God say you are? Actually, what God does is he, he tells you who you are within the very first chapter of the very first book of the Bible. God tells you that you are somebody created in his own image. Well, what does that mean? Well, some of you have seen the photocopier that is right outside of my office here, the, the photocopier that we use for school and for church. And if I were to go and take a, a piece of paper over to that photocopier, I would copy it off. And what would happen is a sheet would print from there and it would be very similar to that which I initially had. But it's not quite the same. The color that was on the original sheet, it's, it's not there on the, the other sheet. It's instead in black and white. The holes that I might have had punched or the staple that I had in that original sheet, they're not going to be there on the second sheet, just a picture of them. It's going to be very similar to the original, but not quite. Well, what God said about us is that we are like his image. We are born into his image. So we're a lot like God except not anymore. God made that statement about Adam and Eve, who were perfect. We're not perfect. We're instead born into the image of our fathers, who are sinners. So we too are sinners. We no longer have that image of God, not naturally at least. But God wasn't okay with that. God wanted to do something about it. He wanted you to be like him again. And so he went and he sent his son so that now when he takes a look at you after what Jesus has done, he sees somebody who is like him. He sees somebody that enjoys the same things that, that he does. He sees somebody who enjoys kindness, who en enjoys listening to God's word, who enjoys being with other believers. That's what God sees in you. You might think, but I don't do all that stuff and I don't always like all that stuff. It's true. We, we don't. doesn't matter, though. That's not what God sees God sees in you his son. He sees Jesus. He sees perfection. This is your identity. No coronavirus, no end of school, no summer vacation. Nothing in all the world is going to ever change that because God has done it himself. God's blessings, guys. I, I hope you're doing well. If anything is on your mind, like I said, go ahead and, and leave it in the comments. Email me, text me, whatever. I want to hear how you're doing. Uh, let me know. God's blessings to you. Bye-bye.